media is where you're going to find every information on the internal memory of the TV. <laughs> two on your USB. If we come back to source, you see we don't have options for the USB port. This is where you're going to find your internal memory or if you have a flash drive, a thumb drive or a pen drive, this is where you're going to find the information in those drives. If we go back to source, you're going to see that we have no option for USB here but the USB is right here in media. So I click on media, I have four options, photos, music, videos, and applications. If I wanna watch a video, for example, and I click on video, here I'm gonna find all the information about the internal memory. And since I don't have anything on the internal memory, I'm not gonna see anything. So I insert a flash drive, new USB device detected. I come back to videos, I click on it, you see this is the USB drive that I have installed. Click on that and these are the information that I have there. How is the quality, the resolution of the videos? We're gonna come back to that later. So if you go to settings, this is where you're gonna find every information that you wanna do or you would like on your computer. So we have settings for your network, settings for time, common settings and about. So if you come to network and you click on network, you have either wired network, information about wired network or wireless network. If you want to use wireless and you click on this, you're going to be given information on all the wireless network available. And this is where you connect to your Wi-Fi. Here in time, we have automatic date and time. You can either enable or disable it. You can change from a 12 hour or to a 24 hours military time. If you want to set time yourself or set date yourself or even daylight seven, you're going to have to come here and disable automatic date and time. In common, we can do all other stuff. For example, language settings. If we click on this, we have only four languages, English, Portuguese, Spanish and French. Input method, wallpaper manage, application manage. If you want to update your system, you come here, you click on this, and then you click on check for updates, which I'm not gonna do right now because my TV is updated. If you want to format your system, you can also do it from here, system recovery. And screen saver. If you want the screen saver, you enable it. If you don't want it, you disable it. But this has some real nice screen savers. In about, you're gonna find information about your TV system. This runs an Android 8 ARM Cortex and uh, it's got one gigs of RAM, eight gigs of ROM, but only available ROM is 3.43. The external device that I have here is also detected and it's gonna give you the capacity of the external drive. In this case, it's a 32 gigs external drive with five or six gigs available. If you wanna change the name of your device, you click on this and you can easily change the name. And we've got also the version of the Android. So that's about settings. We also have information about weather. You can come here, search, and here in home, we have suggested applications. Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Disney, Twitter is a plus, not all smart come with that. Facebook is another plus, not all have that. Spotify and Skype. Hotstar, Claro Video, amongst others. Those are just suggested apps. If you want to add additional apps, you come to my apps. Now, in my case, I have YouTube installed, Media Player, Live TV, eShare, Netflix, and Pluto TV. One of the advantages this TV also has is that it came with a navigator. It comes with Firefox. You can easily navigate here. If you want to add additional apps, you just click on plus or you just come here directly to App Store. You click on App Store and you have category, you have the apps already installed and you have settings. So if you come here, you're gonna find featured apps, 
most popular apps category. If you want to find your apps by category, you can also do that. And here are some of the most popular apps. Here are some of the featured apps. Here in video, you're going to find popular video, recommended music, you're going to find recommended sports and well, recommended videos for kids. On top here, you have this icon showing that you have a USB. You have this other icon showing you have Wi-Fi, the time, the date, and your area, the weather in your place. We're talking about the quality of this TV, it's uh, HD. It's not a full HD video, but well, let's, let's see. I'm going to show you. We're going to come here. Let's see this. So you can see quality is acceptable. It's not a full HD, but it's very, very acceptable. Lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah. I've been working nightly. If you think you'll win, ha, nah, likely. I'll be taking shots. Two things I would say, however. One, if you're not a technological geek, I would recommend you to get a smart TV because you're just not gonna use it. Preferably, you buy a normal TV. And the other thing is, don't expect to serve the internet like rapidly or connect so fast to the internet on this television. For that, I would just suggest you to get a smartphone or a tablet. Finally, and I haven't reached these heights, we can say that Magnavox is a good brand even though this television was assembled, I believe, in China. It's becoming more and more popular due to the price. In summary, if you want something good but without breaking the bank, as in the case of Sony LG televisions that I love, but unfortunately, they're quite expensive. Magnavox is a brand to consider. It offers the essentials for a TV. You can play videos, movies, TV shows, pictures, and other contents from the web like Netflix, YouTube, from a cable or satellite TV channel, or from a local hosting device. On the other hand, if you're looking for a TV that is you know, top of the range, that is the best of the best, then I would recommend other more cutting edge brands such as LG, and Sony. Below, if you're interested, I'm going to leave some links so that you can check them out. I hope you found this video useful and gave you enough information about the Magnavox 32 inch television. I appreciate your time watching it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we upload new videos. Ciao.